Leslie Cornwell, Certified Nurse Midwife with Empowering Midwifery Education. I have Caitlin Fusco here. She's one of my good friends that it's been a few years we've known each other. She runs Happy Home Birth Academy. She's doing a lot of great things on the home birth realm. Um, so if you want to tell a high level story, they can always pull up your first interview we did about nine months ago. Um, just your backdrop and who you are. Yeah. Thanks so much for having me, Leslie. It's always so much fun to talk to you and connect. <laughs> Yeah, Caitlin has been a mama and she saw there were so many childbirth education courses out there for hospital setting, but there wasn't for the home setting. Um, you were thinking about midwifery school and then life. And so you're very passionate about this side of advocating for midwives and side hustles. Like you also were wanting to find something where midwives refer all the time to childbirth education. If they're gonna refer their ladies to your home birth course, you also wanted to have, to have a little kickback. So I would love just you to tell about the high level of your home Home birth academy and what you're upgrading it to so what the public will see in a few months yeah so actually so i am in the process of closing out happy home birth academy the the, the basic childbirth education program to the public i am still offering that to midwives because i think there's something important about being able to send your clients to a place that you know they're getting full like a full-bodied curriculum specifically for home birth. So I think that that is something that's super important. It's something that I want to continue to focus on with midwives. And I think there's a level of trust there because you are sending your clients, you're keeping them accountable, making sure that you know they're get they're going through the program, they're getting the information and education that they need. And then on the flip side, I am not going to be offering it openly anymore for anybody to just come and enroll themselves uh, because I am switching to a group program instead. So it's it's this idea of, I'm sure that you, anyone who's watching this understands this feeling of there needs to be more. It's not just about knowing the hormones of labor. Like if, if that were enough, then we wouldn't. Everybody would have a great outcome. And it's similar right. to reminds me of centering pregnancy. We've got so many studies and evidence for prenatal care and midwives of grouping women together. So you took that mindset and idea of the clinical care side and let's put it in the childbirth education. So it's going to be first of its kind. I'm super excited to see it coming out. So the midwives can still reach out to you if they want home birth clients to have your awesome online course, um, that it's just temporarily a way for the public as you're expanding it to be more comprehensive. And obviously, if people know you, they know you from your home birth podcast, you have amazing, what's the number of followers you're at right now? I honestly haven't checked it for a while, but we were on track for a million downloads this year. So that is phenomenal. So yeah, so the Happy Home Birth podcast is what you had first. And that was your inspiration just to tell home birth stories out there. And so it's very popular. It's very successful. You and I talked, I think that's how we first started chatting actually was my story being told on your podcast. And then you've expanded to online. So you're making so many amazing resources specific to home birthers because they're just not out there. So I think it's amazing what you're doing. Um, the other thing, you and I want to chat about is we are on a mastermind group together. We're supposed to meet in a couple of weeks. Um, and, and I wanted to put a plug in there and you can add your two cents about the power of masterminds and not to overcomplicate them. Because I think people hear the word mastermind group and they think it has to be official and structured and X, Y, Z. So I would love for you to add a little feedback just to inspire people that the power of mastermind groups. I think it's really neat because, you know, you can pay for masterminds you can pay to have somebody lead something for you and that's that's good i've i've been there i've done that but what i love about our group is that we are all coming as equal individuals who are desiring to grow our businesses and there's something so magical about meeting up with other female entrepreneurs discussing what's going on in our business and really being able to just get feedback from others. Hey, what's been working for you? You know, well, how have you done this? Leslie, you have brought so much information, especially about team building to our group. And, and many of us have taken that on and, and used your help and your resources in growing and expanding our teams. And that's something I would have never done had I not been in communication with you, had I not been inside of the mastermind. And now we're all reading the same book. We're, we're getting all of these ideas from each other things that we wouldn't have the time to access on our own just to find 
others in the group have. And so we get to creativity of, you just don't know what you don't know. Like you don't even know this is an option or a resource out there. Um, yeah. So we have four ladies. We've been doing it for about a year and a half, two years. We try to do once a month, but we also don't stress each other. We do it at eight o'clock at night and we're all moms. I think what's so special about us is we all advocate for women in different aspects of the birth realm. One's a sleep consultant, a pediatric sleep consultant. One is a doula business consultant. I'm a midwife business consultant you do the home birth advocacy side, but we're all in very similar parts of our life. We all have young families. We're all relatively newer businesses within three years ish. So we're all in very similar growing pains and work life balance. And that's how we're connecting. That's how we're supporting each other. So if there's anything else you want to add, because I, I mean, we just, if there's a challenge, even if we just need inspiration and pick each other up or feeling overwhelmed to prioritize each other, we are that soundboard and it helps a lot. Yep. I think that the main thing and that you already touched on was just that it doesn't have to be overcomplicated. Get a group, find a group of people, reach out, just ask, like, would you be interested in meeting monthly or, you know, bi-monthly, whatever, whatever it is that you need, but reach out, get a couple of people together and you will be amazed at how much you learn and how much you grow just by exposing yourself to other business women, other ideas. Don't overcomplicate it. You don't have to feel like, well, now I've got to shell out this money to do a mastermind. No, you can create it yourself. And I think there's something so beautiful about that. Well, and I think, and we talk like the universe, because initially I reached out to Jody, and then Jody had you, and then she mentioned Jane, and I was like, this is, she's so different, but then to realize she's so similar, like when we, we make it more organic and kind of the, I think the universe, the greater, like it, it made our most symbiotic relationship. So I think taking each other's unique perspectives, we all, yes, we're in similar life places, but we also are in different industries, but they also complement. We all support women, small businesses. We have the same challenges. So um, I think just reinforcing and we give each other accountability. We pick each other up. We listen. Um, we help prioritize. We tell each other politely, honestly, things that maybe our average friend wouldn't tell us because that's our point of our group. Like we didn't hard knock say this is the function. We didn't. Because I think sometimes people think a mastermind group. I, I don't have time for homework. I don't have time for high level accountability. I'm going to be the weakest link because I'm too busy. Like you just, you have to set a framework at the beginning of it's informal. And this is my point of the group. This is my process. I, I love to have other women to talk to. I love to learn what other things are going on. We each have different networks and followings. And I think we've taken each other, especially Jane. Oh my goodness. The power, like she didn't know doulas would be like the prime pediatric sleep consultant. So like everybody's business had jumped up tenfold purely because we just, we knew each other, the value of the relationship building and the value of the followings each one of us had built compounded on each other. Yep. I totally agree. It's been such a blessing and it is really cool to see where our businesses were at the beginning and what kind of leaps and bounds they've taken in the meantime, working together. Right. Well, and the joke I made, cause I'm uh, Jody and I are more the heavier business side, but like, I made the joke. I was like, okay, in five years, I know for a fact, confidently, we made like a virtual, um, a vision board where I'm like, we're all going to be in Hawaii once you're doing these business trips and we're going to make some retreats and we're going to utilize the best of both worlds. And I think that's the whole point to inspire people. You can do a business and anything you want. You found what fit your family. All of us found what fit our families and we're continuing to vision our our um, ultimate goals, but it still has family. Like all these business trips, we're all going to bring our kids. We're going to go somewhere warm in the winter time. We're going to, instead of just doing Zoom once a month, um, we're right now investing our funds in that growing stage and operational side. But we all know confidently from our mindset and our clarity, we're all going to be very successful in time. That's a no brainer from the momentum, from the, the personalities. So I just, I think it's nice to see other women out there st sometimes struggling the same things you are. And then you feel like, okay, I'm not alone. I'm not the only one that's having to juggle um, being tired and exhausted and this email has to get out and this this uh, thing I told was going to launch next week like we're trying to balance 20 hats. <laughs> yep, <laughs> that is that is it's so relatable. 
Yeah. So Caitlin, is there any other exciting things with like Happy Home Birth Podcast or Academy that you would love to just share with people? Because I think your resources for the home birth community or anybody aspiring, I think especially as midwives, like to have a resource specific for home birth is just invaluable. And many people just don't know it exists. So let's get it from 1 million to 10 million ASAP. <laughs> Perfect. So one thing that I will say is, and I don't know when, when this is airing, Leslie, but after a, the week after we are having this discussion is when I am going to begin discussing more about the Home Birth Collective, which is that 12 week intensive community based group program and education. And so I'm going to be uh, adding a lot of more live streams in depth information just about preparing for your home birth. So free content, free information that's going to be worth more than most things that you pay for on my Instagram. And then I will be reusing those as podcast episodes as well. So just be on the lookout for the Facebook lives. I always have been, or I've been telling people lately, make sure that you, if you are following happy home birth podcast, make sure that that notification bell is turned on on Instagram now, because you can get the notifications that way. Um, and that way you won't miss a live stream. And those are going to be jam packed with information. Awesome. So if today is June 9th, I was going to air it in about two weeks. So that'll be perfect. It'll give yep. it a week after your launch. And um, if you can email me over all the links and everything you want, I'll put it right underneath of the YouTube and share it as well. Perfect. Glad to do it. Okay. Well, thanks, Caitlin. I, I know you love getting emails from people. You love hearing inspirational stories. You love connecting with moms that want to tell their home birth stories. So um, if you want to say out loud in case they're driving audio, like just what is the best website um, email to reach you at? Yep. You can go ahead and send an email to hello at at myhappyhomebirth.com. I can remember the name of my email. <laughs> yeah. Hello at myhappyhomebirth.com. And that is where you can, if, if you're a midwife listening and you're wanting to get affiliate information for Happy Home Birth Academy, that's where you can reach me. Um, and any inquiries about podcast episodes, that's, that's where you can reach me. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for your precious time today. I appreciate it squeezing in today, Caitlin. Thank you. Thanks, Leslie. Mm -hmm.